the night should not have ended the way it did. We should be uh, celebrating and singing a fight song right now. Um, I hate it for all of our players. Um, it's just not the way it should have happened. So, um, I'm proud of the way the kids uh, competed. Obviously, it wasn't perfect, but um, they gave us the opportunity to win. I really appreciate the fans that were here. The stadium was awesome. I just I really appreciate the way Pirate Nation supports our program. I can promise you I'm not going through this again. Questions for Coach? Coach, the final offensive play looked like a design direct snap. Can I think of what would happen from your vantage point? I was looking at the kill the clock sheet and turned around. Um, it looked like we just dropped the snap. But... Uh, you know, not ideally what uh, what you want right there in that situation. Kind of, you know, going to that, like you said, direct snap in that spot, was that, I don't know, kind of a surprise? And would you have rather just seen a, a regular handoff kind of in that spot? Yeah, I'd like to see us put the game away. And um, that's what I said. It's, we shouldn't be in this situation right here. So it's on me. I'm the head football coach here. I'm responsible for everything that goes on in the field. So... For IBM, Isaiah Brown Murray, that, that interception that was overturned, uh, did you get any? It, it looked good from what, what we reviewed. It looked good from what I saw, too. Um, they said that uh, he did not have complete control of the ball through the ground. So, you know, I'll we'll have to look at the film and, uh, and see. But obviously, that's three points. Different look as far as Jimmy Lewis playing a little bit more in the box at a middle linebacker kind of thing. Is that just to get a different person on the field? Well, he's done that a good bit. Um, he's played both uh, throughout the year, and uh, yeah, it's just he—he is—he has the ability to play both. And I think that you know his future after college uh, could be at either. Um, so I think that he's shown his versatility, you know, being able to play it and play it at a high level at both. What do you, you know, try to say to the guys, especially the seniors, after this, you know, because they put you in a position? Absolutely. Uh, I'm sorry. We should not be sitting here doing this. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm ticked off. Um, I just, we should have made them burn their timeouts right there and either scored or, you know, put them in a situation where they can't come back and win it. But Coach Rajay had a really good night. He did. It was good to see Rajay Harris be Roger Harris and uh, you know he and I had some long talks this week and just the way he's he was awesome all week and uh, he was he gave us a chance to win tonight and I hate that uh, hate that we didn't how, how have you guys been able to unlock uh, Savon Ravel on those, those kick special teams plays block block field goals oh uh he, you know, he 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 he's got tremendous length. Uh, we've really really worked throughout the year with his get off and uh, shaving the edge. I mean, it's it's really an art, um, and he's got a knack for it. Just a combination of his athleticism, um, and I, I think he's just he's been very coachable and he's really worked at it. And obviously, he's an impact player with it. Obviously, in the first half, highest scoring first half of the season for you guys. What did yep. you feel like was working on that side of the ball? Well, I just I think the ability to run the football set everything up. You know, I, I think that really gave us that opened up the passing game. Um, it allowed us to extend drives, and uh, you know, so that uh, really I mean, it's it's more of what we've been accustomed to the last couple of years. You know, with the ability to drive the football. Their quarterback uh, made a heck of plays you know, down the stretch and just overall. What did you kind of see from their offense that gave you all? Well, that's uh, and that's kind of how he's looked the last couple of weeks. I mean, I think that you know, I talked to. Um, Kevin before the game and just I think that uh, he has given them the stability at that position that they've needed you know and uh, because they've all they've been able to run the football all year and so uh, 
I think his, his play the last several weeks uh, has really made a difference. Chase had another good game today, over 100 yards receiving. Can you talk a little bit about the, the future of the program and what you're kind of looking forward to going into the next season, both offensively and defensively? Well, I, I really, you know, I, I want to focus on that uh, after tonight. But um, obviously, I'm I'm excited about uh, a lot of the young players we have in the program. Um, and we played a lot of a lot of young guys, particularly on offense this year. But um, you know, I obviously have I, our fan base, our administration, all of us, the players, all of us have much higher expectations. And I understand exactly what East Carolina football should be. It's the picture I painted since I got here, and this year is not it, and it's not acceptable. And uh, I'm not going to sleep until we get it fixed. Coach, you, I know you probably look more of this in the future, uh, but as you look back at this year, you know any big things you feel like you, you've learned as a coach to, to grow from this year uh, in year five at ECU? Probably a lot. I don't know if I need to get a little bit farther away from it, but uh, I think uh, just uh, it's taught me a lot um, on a lot of levels. So. And painful lessons. I mean, so. These seniors, uh, obviously, they've been here through the ups and the downs. What will you remember about coaching them as a group here? Uh, I'll tell you that the group this year has been fantastic. I mean, it's there's we have not had a bad day together. You know, it's you know they've their positive energy, the way they compete, um, the way they work. Um, and I just, I told them in, the, in there, I just, I, I, I care about each one of them and I just, it makes me sick. And I just, but, you know, obviously, you know, we, we got a couple of guys, I think that they're not done playing ball yet. Um, but, you know, all that group, uh, just, they're just really awesome human beings. I'm glad I had a chance to spend this year and the last several years with most of them. Any other questions for Coach? Thank you, Coach. Thanks. Thank you.